So it's been announced that we are getting a brand new EV set, which looks insane. It is called Terrestrial, Terrestrial? Yeah, Terrestrial Festival, and it is coming to the Japanese set first. Obviously, if you are new to Pokemon, pretty much most of the time, if not every single time, Japan get their sets first, and sometimes it can be two sets that English go into one, or you get just a normal set. So for instance, something like this, I can imagine it will be just a whole set in there. It's looking like at the minute it's about 187 plus cards included. Um, we don't know too much about it. We just know that it is coming out on the 6th of December, or at least that is when it has been rumored to. So it will be very, very interesting to see. We have got a little bit of pack art as well for it. So as you can see with this Eevee on there, you've obviously got a lot of the terrestrial forms, uh, which is going to be the highlight of it. And if you know Eevee sets, um, go back and look at Evolving Skies, have a look at the pricing, have a look at the cards. Insane. Some of the values on them cards is just nuts. Now, I think the big thing that you've got to squash right now is that they're not going to be exactly the same. It's not going to be that every Umbreon, every Eevee set, every Glaceon, all of that is going to blow up as much as Evolving Skies. There is a lot of moving parts when it comes to prices of a cards and, and where they go. Now, if we do get an Umbreon terrestrial form that looks outrageously good, then yes, the value will be up there. Of course it will be. But remember with Evolving Skies, it's a very... It's a recipe for success with a card like that. It depends on how many sets have came out prior, how many hitters we've got, how hard the pack rate is, and Evolving Skies just ticked every single boxes. At the moment, I believe these are the cards that we've got at the moment. So these are just some of the arts that we've got that are uh, fully released. And, and obviously this is just a very minute amount of the set. Um, a couple of the EXs, uh, obviously Flareon EX right there. Garchomp's in here, Walking Wake. Uh, you've got Iron Valiant, uh, Rory Moon. So it is focusing across them still. We also have the EV EX. And if you've probably already guessed, when you look at kind of like the, the pack art and a few of them EXs, normally you find they tend to have a lot of special ir illustration art. So Umbreon's bound to get one, Eevee's going to, Glaceon is, um, the, um, is it, what was the, what's the, uh, Teal Mask, uh, Orgapon, that, that's going to obviously get one as well. The only one that I can't remember is what this is called. It's in, I want to say if we go over to, it's English set, it was in, what was it in, it was in Stellar Crown, I'm pretty sure it was this one, when was it called, it's right at the end, I'm pretty sure it's still the most expensive in this set, or was it a different, there it is. Uh, Terra Pag Terra Pagos, yeah, Terra Pagos, uh, ninety three. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of holding the price. So obviously, an EV set like how we've seen with Surgeon Sparks is always a set that everybody wants because of Evolving Skies. It's it's made it into this kind of phenomenon that everybody loves the EV sets. It's a big Pokemon. It's got a great evolution line, and to be honest, for even for collectors. Having a set that is, is is an EV evolution, there's a lot of people that do collect just the EV evolutions. There's someone on TikTok and have a binder for all of them. Um, so like a, a Flareon, a Jolteon, and, and yada yada. That's going to be incredible for, for more cards for them. When you look at Evolving Skies, you've obviously got the Jolteon V, Vaporeon V, Flareon. Then you've obviously got... Um, the alternate arts with Leafy on V. You then go to the special arts and, and you've got rainbows in there as well. There's just so much to take in. And I'm hoping this set does not disappoint. Now, a lot of these sets now, after going into the Terraforms, uh, will kind of have, like the, is it this one? Yeah, the Super Electric Breaker. We'll have a lot of, if we go further down, a lot of these cards, kind of like the Pikachu with obviously the border. It's That's going to be where we're going to see a lot of them. That being said, like there is still some very nice ones. Like obviously the biggest one for this set is going to be that Pikachu, wherever it's gone, that Pikachu. Um, I love the border. I just don't think it's a mass product. If you look at the Umbreon, I don't think it has that sort of value quantity on it. I, I think it's an incredible card. The art is going to be fantastic, but I do prefer kind of more of 
the normal illustration arts, especially the special ones. The the rainbow board is nice, but sometimes it can take away from the picture itself. Like imagine like the full border there with Pikachu, and it's it's not got the big rainbow around it. Now in in actual person, it might just look so much better. We are still yet to get Surgeon Sparks at the moment, so I will give my full opinion on that once we get there with it. But I do think this set is going to be one of them ones that everybody is going to love. Evolution, uh, previously followed by a Pikachu. Literally, we're, we're hitting into some of the most nostalgic sets going, let alone next year's uh, Rockets, Gym Heroes. This is just going to be a great set for Christmas. Um, if you are looking to kind of get the uh, Japanese sets, I would definitely try and get this ASAP. The actual printing of this is going to be nuts, especially being a December set. They know this is going to hit absolutely hard because obviously it's going to be one that everybody wants. It's an evolution. It's near Christmas. It's just going to be one of them sets that I think from even from my perspective, I don't necessarily collect a lot of Japanese full sets. I'm, I'm mainly just focusing on the English ones. This might be a set that I actually get in Japanese first to be able to actually open it up on the day. So it's going to be an interesting one nonetheless for it. Um, when it comes to investing in it, uh, I would say buy whenever, to be honest. I think this set is just going to be one of them hitters. Um, I'm not necessarily a massive, massive collector of Japanese sets. The only thing I have got is obviously the uh, Japanese 151 as it was reprinted and just went down to a price I just personally wanted to get in. And it was my first product ever buying. Whereas whenever it comes to the Japanese sets we've got here... There is going to be a lot of options you can go for. I think the the dragon set's going to be decent. I, I do think Stella, uh, Stella Miracle, Stella Crown is going to be a decent one as well. Um, obviously, the Pikachu one. I think people are kind of hit and miss with it. I've seen Pokerevoven open up like 20 boxes at the moment and not even get one of the Pikachus. So the rates are going to be massive. Either it deters people and takes people away from it and they just buy it singularly. Or they just double down on it and it becomes even more of a premium set to try and get that Pikachu. It's it's one of them that you have to take a, a gamble on. So that is kind of is what it is. Um, we haven't got any information on the English set for this. It is very much just in the uh, Japanese part at the moment. There is nothing that we know from the English variation of this. Um, it is just dropped these last couple of days. Um, and I think I'm a little bit late to it as well. Seeing as though it came out on the 25th. So a couple of days ago at the very minute. Minimum. Even then, you probably see a little bit more prior to this, but I do think this is going to be incredible. If you can get every EX, you can get Jolteon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, uh, Espeon in the EX as well as them special arts, this set is going to go absolutely to the moon. Uh, I don't know whether you will see every single one like this, but I can imagine you will see them in the special arts as well. It is going to be an incredible, incredible set. Um, so, sick for December. Definitely have a look what you can get from this set because I believe the booster boxes come in 10 packs. Uh, one pack includes 10 cards as standard. And I want to say there's a hit in every pack. So at least like a hollow or something. Very much like how we have the English sets now. You get the two reverse and at the minimum a hollow. The, there is going to be one in there. But 10 packs per box or per, per, uh, per booster box. It is a premium uh, kind of almost like a premium set as you'll find anyway as well, but it's going to be absolutely incredible. Let me know down below if you are going to open this one, and as soon as the information drops for the English version, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. Make sure you subscribe. Peace!